What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are just gonna be doing a chill laid back Target haul. I went to Target a couple nights ago. I've actually kept all this stuff in the bags for a few days now to be able to sit down and film this for you guys. I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I found. They had a lot of new cute stuff for like spring and summer. So I got some things for like a spring summer refresh. And then I also just got like some essentials and favorite kind of things that I normally get when I go to a Target that we needed around the house and stuff. We have some clothes, some beauty, some home stuff, all that. So I'm super excited to share everything with you guys today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so first things first I will show you guys the makeup product that I got and it is this new NYX primer so this is the NYX plump right back plumping serum and primer this has electrolytes in it which I thought was really interesting kind of looks like that yellow Gatorade but yeah I think I saw Ali Glines here on YouTube say that she really liked this so I wanted to check it out what interests me more than anything else was that this is $17. I think it was $17.99 at Target. So I looked at it and I picked it up and I was like, $18? Like the drugstore is kind of popping off on some pricing at some places, but I was like, okay, let me see, let's try it. So I bought it so I could try it for you guys. I'll put it in an upcoming video, like testing new drugs or makeup or something like that, where I can see, is this actually worth $18? Cause at that point, we're almost to like high-end pricing, but if it performs as good as a high-end primer, then okay, maybe it's worth it, you know? So that was my excuse to get it. I'm like, you know what, I, got, I gotta see. Let me be the guinea pig, then I'll let you guys know if it's good, but yeah. Definitely thought it was kind of pricey, but I did pick it up so that I could review it for you guys. So look out for that in an upcoming video soon. I'm excited to see. Let me, I'll open it now and we can see if it has like any scent to it. Okay, it has like a light scent, nothing crazy. All right, I'm excited to try it. I think I just got a little bit on my nose. <laughs> But yeah, that was the first thing that I grabbed. I always peruse the beauty section first. Then over in the home section, this is kind of like beauty. I saw this vanity organizer. I believe I found this in the like bathroom section where they have like toothbrush holders and stuff like that. But I thought this was really nice. Um, it's just like an acrylic little holder. So I'm gonna put this on my vanity. And right now my vanity is like a little cluttered. I kind of have stuff everywhere. So I thought this would look a little nicer. I could kind of organize, like maybe put like my cleanser in here, like toner pads, something like that, and kind of make it look a little bit more organized on my bathroom vanity. Cause I don't put everything down below, like in the drawers. I do leave some stuff out. So I thought that this looked nice and sleek. I like like the acrylic with the silver. I also recently got, I'm trying to figure out how much this is, but it doesn't say on here. I wanna say it was like around $14. I also cannot find my receipt. That's part of my problem too. When I leave a store, I just, I don't know where the receipt goes. I just throw it somewhere and then never find it again. But Target is good if you need to return something, they can like track it on your card. But I recently got a high frequency machine at home for my skin. So I was figuring too, maybe I could put it in here because it has a couple different like components that you can put on it. But I've been super into skincare, trying a bunch of new products and stuff. So I figured this could help maybe do a little organization of my vanity instead of just having stuff thrown everywhere. Okay, up next, I thought this was so cute. So if you guys watch me, you will know my trials and tribulations with being a hat girl, okay? I love to buy hats because I love the way they look and they're so cute, but then I always feel like I look ridiculous. But Steven and I are going on a vacation to celebrate our birthdays. Both of our birthdays are in April, so we're going to Cabo, which I'm so excited about. Neither of us have ever been there. We've only ever been to Cancun, and it's been a really long time, so super excited. There's one time where I don't even care if I look stupid in a hat is when I'm in the sun because I want to protect my skin and my face. You guys know I'm always slathered in the SPF. Like, I love to sit outside, but I also want to be protected. So I saw this cute little hat at Target, and it was affordable too. Let's see. Um, $28. Actually, it was a little bit more than I thought it was, but it was 28 bucks. But I really did think this was cute and it actually does fit my head. Most hats like this don't, but this one does because it kind of has this like adjustable thing in the back, if you can see, like right here and it's like stretchy. So it does actually fit on my head. So I figured, you know, at the pool, beach, whatever, I could wear this and I'll keep my face shielded from the sun. Obviously, of course, have SPF on too, but I thought it was cute and obviously could wear it all throughout the summer months and stuff. And I like the tones. It has like brown and cream kind of tones in it. So it could pretty much go with anything. So I thought this was cute. So I grabbed that. And then speaking of like clothing, I also grabbed this little dress. This I thought was the cutest thing so this was in the like night um like pajama type section so it's basically like a little dress which is like a black little skater dress it does have like a little bit of like meshing here which is cute it does have cups in it so you wouldn't necessarily have to wear a bra with it this is not something that i'm going to be wearing outside of my house um but i love to wear robes like 99 percent of the time i am in a robe like that's typically what i get ready in and stuff but in the summer it gets a little too hot to always be wearing a robe but i'm getting ready and the weather is starting to get warmer so i got this i thought it would be perfect for me to just wear like whenever i'm getting ready hanging out around the house or whatever kind of like the summer robe sort of thing. It's like a little dress. You could sleep in it too if you wanted to. 
Um, it does have adjustable straps on the back and it is a super, super comfortable material and it goes down to about the knees. It's not super short or anything either. So I thought it was really nice and definitely something that I will just lounge around the house in when I wanna be comfy or when I just wanna get ready or whatever. So this was, I got this in a size large because I didn't want it to be like small. And um, the price on this was $21.99. So I thought it was super cute. Okay, up next we have some home stuff. I kind of want to refresh our master bedroom a little bit. I did a tour of our master bedroom like probably about a year ago now at this point. I love it, but it's a little dark. Like I wanted it to be like moody and I like that, but I wanted it to be a little bit lighter and brighter. So I bought a new white bedspread and I kind of wanted it to be like hotel vibes, like super cozy, really soft, comfy, like plush bedding. So I've been buying a few new things and I wanted to add some touches of cream to the room as well. So I grabbed this blanket. I love this blanket so much. It's so beautiful. We have another one in our house and they are just so, so pretty. If I can get it out of here to show you guys. It is the Casa Luna Knit blanket so it's just a really pretty knitted blanket not necessarily a blanket that you would want to use to really like keep yourself warm like you could but honestly this is better as like a pretty throw blanket so that's kind of how i wanted to use it on our bed so i just got it in the full queen size they do make a king size that i think is 10 more dollars this one was i want to say it was 59.99 and then the king i think is 69.99 but i just got this one to kind of drape on like the bottom of our bed i thought that it would look nice i love the kind of chunkiness of it and i liked the more like beigey kind of tan color to mix that in with some of the grays and golds that we have in our bedroom. So I thought that it would be really pretty. And these do come in a couple other colors too. They have a gray one. Um, they have like a darker brown one. So there are different options, but I grabbed this one because I thought it was really pretty because I don't want everything in the bedroom to be white. Like I definitely want there to be other tones in there as well. So I thought that could help to add it in. Then I got these big pillows. So I got two of them. Let me take them out of the bag to show you guys. They're super fluffy and pretty. So I got two of these big fluffy pillows. These are from the Joanna Gaines line, the Hearth and Home, and they were $30 each, or $29.99 to be exact, but they're big, white, fluffy pillows. So I figured I could put this towards the back of our bed. Again, to kind of go with that hotel theme, I want there to be like lots of pillows, really soft, comfy and cozy. Like I feel like we spend so much time in our bedroom. We don't even realize it. Like obviously everyone's sleeping there every single night. So I want it just to be really nice and cozy, even though it's not somewhere that like guests typically see you know like you're always like focused on making that part of your house nice which of course is important too but don't sweat yourself either in your bedroom you know make it super nice and cozy and comfy for you your significant other and whomever and so yeah I'm hoping these go with the new bedspread when it comes in um but yeah I thought these are really pretty so grab two of them and then I also had to get the body pillow oh my gosh so we actually had one of these they're ten dollars at Target this is a humongous pillow like super super long um the it's the from the room essentials line so we actually had one of these on our bed and then prince ended up throwing up on it prince is my dog unfortunately and we didn't have the cover on it at the time so it just kind of ruined the pillow so i just bought a new one um because for 10 bucks you really can't beat it they do end up becoming like less fluffy over time like the old one we have is probably two years old and i could tell when i bought the new one i was like wow this is way fluffier than the old one was um, these are just really nice. My dog likes to sleep on this like in between me and my husband But it's also just nice to like hold I'm the type of person where I normally will sleep with a pillow on my head and then I'll like hold another pillow So these are perfect for that too because they're really big and long and fluffy Yeah, I grabbed another one of these for ten dollars. You really cannot beat them They do sell covers for them as well But I didn't get a cover yet because I figured I'd wait to see like how the rest of everything came together to figure out If I wanted to change the color of it, so I just got a plain white one again to keep the bed nice and comfy and cozy then this is random but i got some alka-seltzer honestly totally random but my husband has used this for like his whole life and i always thought he was like crazy like whenever he felt like he was getting like a cold he would always like use one of these and it's not like a medicine that you would like take like a pill or something but it's like you put it in water and it dissolves and it tastes really weird but he's like no it instantly makes me feel better like whatever so i'm like okay and i had a little bit of a cold like two weeks ago and he gave me one of these alka-seltzers and i swear I felt so much better. It was crazy. I was like, what the heck? Like, I literally always thought this was like some like hoax. Like, I don't know why. But yeah, this Alka-Seltzer does not taste good. But if you're not feeling well, it really does help to make you feel better. So we got more of them. Random. This is not medical advice. But yeah, it does work. Next, I grabbed this towel. I thought this was really pretty. It's kind of like a houndstooth pattern to it like white with a little bit of beige I needed a new towel for our guest bathroom downstairs the one we have in there has just like seen better days and I don't know what guests do when they're wiping their hands on the towels but somehow the ones in my guest bathrooms always get ruined <laughs> so I got a new one because I just threw out the one I had but I liked that it had like the little fringe on the bottom I always love when hand towels have like the fringe I don't know why 
but I just think it looks cute. So I liked the patterns and the tone in this and it was super affordable. It was, does it say? Doesn't say on here, but I know it was under 10 bucks. So I thought that it was cute and I grabbed that. Okay, I was just looking around like crazy cause I was like, I know I have another bag somewhere with beauty stuff in it and I just found it. Cause I was like, did I leave it at the store or something? But no worries. We got the last bag. Okay, so I grabbed these two new eyeshadow palettes from Physicians Formula because I also thought that I could use these in like an upcoming testing your drugstore makeup video. And I don't know that I've ever really tried an eyeshadow from Physicians Formula, but I have recently liked some of their newer products that they came out with. So this one's kind of like an all matte one. And then this one has a lot of shimmers in it. This one is the matte blushed tones. And then this one is bronzed nude. So I figured that I could kind of use them together. This one has obviously the mattes and then this one is much more shimmers, but I thought that they looked pretty, so I figured I could give them a try. And I believe these were each $12.99, so cheaper than the NYX primer. Um, and you do get six shades in each of them. So I can definitely test these out if that's something that you guys wanna see. I also grabbed the brown version of the L'Oreal Voluminous Balm Mascara. It's so weird, because I feel like I've seen a lot of negative reviews on this. A lot of people don't really like this, I really like this mascara. I thought, I think it works really nicely on my lashes. So I have the black one. So I went ahead and got the brown one. Cause sometimes if I'm just doing like a really easy look, I'll just use like a brown mascara. It's a little more natural on my lashes since they're pretty much clear um, without it. So I grabbed this if I was gonna just do a more natural or bronzy look so that I could have it. And then the last thing that I grabbed is from the Honest Company, which I believe is Jessica Alba's brand. This is the Hydrogel Cream cool drink of water moisturizer. I can't remember who I saw talking about this. I think it was somebody on TikTok. They were talking about how this is apparently like amazing for dry skin. So I figured that I would give it a try. It has two types of hyaluronic acid and squalene in it. So I was like, okay, I'm always down to give things a try, especially when they're more on the affordable side. I will say that this isn't super affordable. It's $19.99. So to me, that's pretty much almost high end, although a lot of high end skincare products can go like well even beyond like $50. So it's more than your typical drugstore, less than I guess your typical high end. So not cheap, um, but yeah, I was interested in seeing it because the person that I saw talking about it was raving about it. So let's open it up and see. It looks super creamy, has no scent, which is incredible. That's typically what I like, a little on our finger. I have a feeling it's gonna be like really buttery. Yeah, definitely like a thicker consistency, but very, very, moisturizing feeling. Yeah, that like blended into my hand really nicely. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Love that it has hyaluronic and squalene in it and love that it does not have a scent. So I will definitely try this out and report back and see. Oh my God, wait, this is cute. It says, feel me burst into liquid form like when you massage it into your skin, which it starts as a cream and then it kind of like turns to a liquid. It says, quenching the skin like a tall glass of water because being thirsty is so not cool. That's really funny. I like that. Cute little marketing, but yeah. Grabbed that and that is everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys picked up any cool things recently at Target. Thank you guys so much. So much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.